Hey guys, this is Steve Wickwar, and I'm going to give you all a quick tutorial on your selfie video for the bush prep. Um, I'm going to be referring to these two um, uh, slides that we I pulled out of the uh, presentation from this morning that um, uh, Amanda went over in such great detail. Okay, to start with, um, uh, what we're going to do is figure out how to record your video. You can do that either on your phone and upload it directly to YouTube, or you could use what I use, which is Screencastify. Uh, it is an app that you can get from the uh, Google Chrome store. Uh, it's free for uh, under five minutes, or you can even go down and type in your search bar and just type in camera. Um, most of your laptops should have this. And if you open up the camera app, you do have a built-in camera that will pop up, show your beautiful face. Uh, you can actually record your video here and it should save it in your My Pictures folder. I'm gonna go ahead and use Screencastify though. So I'm gonna click open uh, my little Screencastify button. I'm actually already using it, so I'm not gonna be able to do it at the same time, but you can see here, it's just a little shortcut, okay? All right, that being said, once you have your video recorded, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna load it to YouTube, okay? If you are familiar with YouTube, you just click on YouTube. Um, everybody has their own channel. It is actually right where your little avatar is when you open up YouTube, assuming you are signed into your account. Click on your channel, and this is actually your YouTube channel. Now, obviously, you know, I've, I've had mine for a while, so I've kind of jazzed it up a bit, but yours will look a little more plain than this, but this is basically your channel, okay? Um, if you want to upload a video, all you do is you click on the little plus sign where it says create, and you click upload video. Once you've upload, it's going to ask you to select some files. I like to keep my files on my desktop, so I'm just going to navigate to my desktop where my files are. I'm going to try to find my video. I'm going to conveniently use my one from last year. Um, uh, pro, pro tip, elective teachers, we already have this. It's in the Bush uh, on the Bush webpage. Um, and I'm going to click open. Um, it shouldn't take too long. These are pretty short, but it gives you a file name. Um, if you want to, you can choose a thumbnail once it populates. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll just let it do whatever I want. You can select a playlist if you have one. If you don't have one, you can make a playlist. Um, I'm going to put this under my Bush Featured Stories, and I'm going to click Done. Down here, this is kind of odd, but it asks you, is this made for kids? Okay, you may be tempted to put yes. Do not put that. Put no. Okay, this is actually for Bush parents, and if you put yes, it, it asks, asks for all kind of age restriction information, and you don't need that. Okay, once you've done that, that is literally all you have to do. You just click Next. Um, here it's asking if you want to add subtitles or an end screen or add cards. Okay, this is some advanced features you can do. Um, if you are familiar with this, you can use it, but it's not needed. So I'm just going to click next again. It's checking for copyright to see if you put in any songs in that you did not uh, have access to. Um, it gives me a check saying that's all cool. So I click next again. And then this is kind of important. Make sure when it says visibility, who do you want to see this? Make sure it is public. Okay. Um, other than that, that is pretty much all you need to check there and click publish. Um, uh, once you are done, that is all there is to it. It takes a little bit of time to process, but your video link is already populated. It already goes into your playlist automatically. You could actually close this if you wanted to, or go ahead and copy the link. I'm just going to close it. And you'll notice right here under channel content, look what pops up. My first video that I have, um, it is public. Okay, if I click on it. It'll open up and play like normal. Actually, it's showing me my video details here, my link and all the information that we put. No, it's not made for kids. You can choose a thumbnail again if you wanted to. Make sure it's on your featured list, okay? And then um, you can click on the link. It's gonna play your video. Again, it takes a little time to process sometimes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and then to get your link, you can always just click share. And then here's your link. You just click copy. And now we're ready to do the second part of her instructions, which are um, how you are going to, we've done this, we've moved right down the top, all the way down here to save link to video. We're ready to create our QR code, okay? All you have to do to that is click on the link she provided um, and click on QR generator. You can go to any free QR code, this particular one um, I haven't used, but it'll work. Um, we're not doing text, we're doing the URL. Paste in your link and then click save. Actually, look at that, it already populated it for us. Okay, we just click save. Uh, come up with the name for it. I'm gonna call this one, my video. 
um, one. Okay, and save it as a ping file. That's just an image file and click save. You'll notice it downloads here to the bottom left hand corner. What I like to do is collapse my browser and just drag that onto the desktop. Okay, once it's on the desktop, go ahead and open it. And you'll notice that you have a QR code. Okay, at this point, you can print this QR code. Okay, you may want to um, zoom in, test it with your phone, make sure it works. Okay, if it works, you're welcome to go ahead and print that out and um, stick it to your door. That's really all there is to it. Okay, as you can see here, I can just click the little three dots and there's a print button right there. Okay, make it pretty big, put it on your door. Um, if you want to, you know, copy and paste that to a uh, Word document and, you know, say, put your name and room number and, um, you know, say scan here, whatever you want to do, uh, this should work. That's all there is to it. If you have questions today, I am hosting a little uh, Q&A session. Stop by my room today at 2.30ish and um, I'll be happy to help you out. All right. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Have a great first day of school. Um, and that is all.